not long now till Christmas, just days away, and we're a little bit more confident with the forecast for the actual day itself. So we'll have a look at that in a second. But let's talk about the run up to Christmas, if you like. Not much change compared to what we've had in the last two or three days, really mild weather with some showers. And in fact, if you look at the satellite image, you get a sense of the whole atmosphere in motion. Big low pressure in the North Atlantic here, sending these shower clouds in our direction, a breeze picking up as well. And this is all relatively mild air. I know it's blue on the maps here, but it's actually not that cold. It's this that we're watching here, even more mild air that's heading our way come the weekend. And temperatures could actually get up into the mid-teens, believe it or not. So here's Thursday's weather forecast. We've got these westerly winds blowing in the cloud and some showers, some of us getting more showers than others. But I think the south of the country, some southeastern areas getting a better day on Thursday compared to what we had during the course of uh, at least Tuesday and Wednesday. 11 degrees in the south of the country, single figures in the north. Now, Friday looks pretty wet, doesn't it? We've got a weather front moving across the UK, a lot of blue here, so that's rain. But this is actually rain very early on Friday morning. In fact, the early hours of Friday morning. So in fact, all of this would have been over us during the night and then it sweeps out of the way. And by the time we get to lunchtime, the sun's out again across the southern half of the UK. And then once again, the showers come back in again. So it's sort of a bit of a seesaw going up and down the weather. The north of the country, all the while through Friday, looks pretty cloudy. Now the all important weekend, a lot of us plans for this weekend, very busy weekend. Uh, looks like we're in between weather systems. So that means that the weather's not looking bad at all. A weak area of high pressure builds. That means there'll be a little bit more sunshine around. Yes, maybe a few showers in the northwest of the country, but you know, on the whole, not a bad day on the way on Saturday. 12 in London, 10 in Liverpool, nine in Newcastle and in Glasgow. And then on Sunday, that wedge of yellow color that I showed you at the start of the forecast, that arrives, that really mild air. But with that, also a lot of cloud, some wind and some rain as well. So a messy picture for many of us on Sunday. After that really nice day on Saturday, Sunday is downhill. You can see all of the clouds, but look at the temperatures, 14 degrees. It's probably not gonna feel like it because of the cloud and the rain. The north, however, still hangs on to those single figure temperatures. So we're getting closer to Christmas now. This is Monday, so Christmas Eve. That low pressure, the leftovers of Sunday's weather clears away towards the continent. The winds switch direction. When we get a northerly, the air tends to be a little bit colder, just a little bit colder. The sky's clear, so maybe some sunshine around eventually in the afternoon. And with clear skies Monday night into Tuesday, and what's Tuesday? Tuesday is Christmas Day. Things could be a little bit nippy in the morning. We'll have a look at that in a second. Let's just summarize the run up to Christmas. Very changeable with the wet and windy conditions at times and fairly mild. That's up until the 24th, 25th and onwards. We've got high pressure across the UK. This basically means clearing skies. That in turn means it'll turn chilly at night. There could be some frost, some fog in the morning, perhaps a little bit more unsettled in the north. But on the whole, it may actually feel relatively festive with some frost. That's the best we can do for now.